Hello ladies, welcome to my nine week, four day update, pregnancy update. Um, I have good days and I have bad days. Uh, today is a pretty good day. I feel good enough to take a shot or a bath and um, blow dry my hair, uh, do my hair and I did a little bit of makeup. Um, still breaking out really bad as you can tell all over even on my arms breaking out um uh let's see symptoms still not feeling good off and on mostly at night night's the worst um i have really bad acid reflux so i've been taking i just started taking these and they work really good they're uh, the zantac um 150 milligram and um uh, they're nice because they're small it could i have a hard time swallowing pills so i'll show you the actual size of these things so if you see that they're pretty small um i can actually swallow that it's like a like ibuprofen it's the size of an ibuprofen um so you take one of these every 12 hours to help keep the heartburn and acid reflux down and so far today, it's been really good. Um, it ends up hurting so bad that it goes up my throat and it burns and it makes me feel really nauseous. So that's a lifesaver. Um, my lips are still really chapped. Um, I've been using, um, today I just started using the Burt's Bees uh, Beeswax Lip Balm because it works really good and it feels really good. It makes your lips like, um, this one is, I think the original and it has peppermint in it, which makes your li your um, lips a little tingly, you know, like minty, which is nice. it makes it feel really nice and fresh. Um, baby's doing, been doing really good. I check the heartbeat every day, and that it's nice to hear that every every day when you don't get to see the doctor and you're so early on and you're wondering how how baby's doing. Um, also another symptom, I still have the saliva, so I keep a towel with me all the time and I usually have to just like spit in the towel because I can't put it, do it in like a cup because if I see it, it makes me, makes me nauseous and then like having to pour it out would make me really sick seeing that. So I just use a towel and then I just wash them. Um, I go through a lot of towels a day, I go through about three towels. Um, but it's better than spitting in a cup. Um, what else? Um, I since the last time I talked to you guys, I've lost another um lost another two pounds, so I'm down twenty two pounds from pre pregnancy, and. It doesn't matter because I know it's going to go right back up when I get further, further along. So, um, that's, it's going to go right back to where I was when I'm done having the baby. <laughs> but right now it's because of the sickness and stuff. Oh yeah, another thing that happened, um, I ended up with the tummy flu. My husband had it, he brought it home, and then my daughter got it, and then I thought I was going to be okay, but then three days later, I got it. And I was up throwing up every 30 minutes and it gives you diarrhea and it was just like I could you couldn't hold anything down but I was just drinking water you know little sips um because I remember when I used to get the flu the doctor would just tell me you know drink little sips so it doesn't irritate your stomach and make you want to throw it back up so I did that and I recuperated it took about three days to get getting better sorry about that that's my husband's alarm on his watch. He keeps it in the bedroom and I'm in the bedroom, so. Um, um, I'll show you guys my Doppler, what I have. So, I bought this Doppler. Um, it's the, um, Sonaline C brand. And, um, I really like it because it shows, like, the heartbeat on the bottom and the number on it. And, um, it'll be 
green if um, the, or it'll be green if the heart rate's at a good rate, and it'll be red if it's not. Um, baby is so young and early that you can't really say this is on track or on time or whatever. The numbers are not very accurate this early. Um, another thing is, um, my belly is, it's getting harder down there, so I'm getting like a little bit bump. And, um, it's showing pretty early, so, um, this is the first time I started showing this early. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I, I will show you guys my little bump. And, um, maybe we'll just do like an, I'll do like a little Doppler video at the end. So here, I'll show you guys my bump. So, see that little belly bump down here? Tiny, right there. Um, yeah, so that's about it. And I will show you guys dot Doppler in just a minute. Okay, so my husband is, I just had him washing my sheets, so my bed has no sheets on it, <laughs> but don't mind that. But here, I'm laying on the bed, and I'm going to get the lube, which I use um, um, the same as my doctor uses. You just get it online. Um, and if you ever run out of lube, you could just use aloe vera, and that works just the same. So, let's get this going. I'm going to set you guys down. Okay, so I'm just going to put, so right above the pubic bone, like right before your hairline, as you can see I have a C-section scar. So I'm going to set it right in the center, this little, there we go, that should be perfect. And then I take my little wand, and I'll turn this guy on once I get it. Set it on, okay. Now it's going to make a loud noise, so don't, don't be alarmed. That's what it sounds like without anything. You kind of have to push hard. That's my heartbeat. Move it around a little bit. There it is. Okay, hope you guys can hear that. Oops, sorry guys, dropped you. So I hope you guys liked my video and I will um, make another video after I see my doctor. Um, I see him on the 27th, I believe, so um, of January and I'll make a video about what happened at the doctor's appointment. So about another week from now and I'll talk to you girls later. Um, I hope you guys get your BFPs and baby dust to all the girls that's trying. Bye ladies.